Boomtown Star makes good. Village Green Bookstore is arguably the greatest athlete in his sport. Those are the headlines this very week and decades past on Rochester's first TV station. Here's News 8 Now's Dave McKinley with News 8 Then. Ten years ago this week, a lot of firsts. The Easy Pass system went into effect for the first time on the New York State Thruway. Greece Athena grad John Wallace was selected in the first round of the NBA draft by the Knicks. Monroe County held its first ever Take Your Son to Work Day and first proposed ban on smoking in restaurants this week in 1996. 20 years ago this week, views on smoking were much more relaxed. Say, for instance, you fell down the Genesee River Gorge. As this young lady did, why, you could casually light up while your rescuers tended to your needs, perhaps even if they had portable oxygen nearby. Meanwhile, it's going to be one of those shows. As the original Rochester Top Free 7 made it onto the national stage, minivans began proliferating on the nation's highways, and there were new advances in technology. Holograms with part of the card number printed over them are now being used. They are very difficult to duplicate. Village Green bookstores were still all the rage, and the Supreme Court upheld a state's right to make consensual sodomy among adults illegal. It reversed itself 17 years later. 30 years ago this week, one of the greatest Olympians ever sat down for a Channel 8 interview, believe it or not, he had sought to be a dentist before becoming the king of his sport. I was going to be a dentist at one time, and I still think about it often, but uh, things seem to be moving in the business world. This week's News 8 Ben Pop Quiz, do you know who this is? At the same time, it appeared everywhere you looked, there was some sort of activity marking the impending arrival of the nation's most celebrated birthday. Here, off-track betting capitalizes on the commercialization of the bicentennial by rolling out its bicentennial Betmobile this week in 1976. Holy trifecta, Cape Crusader. Forty years ago this week, just like now, the first really hot weather of the summer drove scores to Ontario Beach, probably in bigger numbers back then because fewer of us had air conditioning. Just like now, though, there were concerns over bacteria levels in the water. Although, unlike now, it didn't have so much to do with algae as it did with the amounts of sewage we used to often dump into the lake. And the city of Rochester raised the fine for illegal parking this week in 1966 for the very first time since it began issuing parking tickets in the 1930s. The fine was doubled, in fact, from one dollar to two. Now, <laughs> those were the days of News 8 then. <laughs> Okay, here's the answer to this week's News 8 Then Pop Quiz about one of the greatest Olympians of all time who chatted with us 30 years ago this week. Of course, swimming superstar Mark Spitz is that handsome man there. At the time of this Channel 8 interview, Spitz, just four years removed from his record-setting performance at the Olympic Games in Munich where he won seven gold medals and certainly cemented his reputation as probably the greatest swimmer of all time.